Might I offer a refreshing fruit smoothie to restore your overburdened immune system since you did not come home last night and I can only imagine you were working and therefore you are suffering from lack of sleep. No. Even you need a healthy blend of berries, protein, and calcium. Hey, it's not an husband. I am working hard. Right. You are less forthcoming than usual. Have there been more problems with Mr. Sir? Hello? Sonny went after Karpov last night. On his own. No guards, no backup, nothing. He'd be dead right now if Max didn't show up trying to impress his father. That is most distressing. Okay, all Sonny is thinking about right now is revenge. And do you disagree with his methodology? Well, I think Sonny is either forcing Karpov or his people to retaliate, and we're not even sure Karpov is the one who shot Kate. Uh, have you tried to reason with yes, him, Yes, Spinelli, I have. The situation, we see things differently. He wants to be aggressive. I want to hold off. These triple times call for Jackal P.I. No, not, not, not this morning. All I'm saying is that a, a fresh and clearly reasoned look at things may provide valuable insight. All I'm saying is last time Jack O'P. I got involved, you lost your spleen. I will stick to the handbook this time. I... I will. Okay, the first step in every professional investigation is to review all the facts. Fact one, Karpov shot Kate. No. Fact one, somebody shot Kate. We don't know who shot Kate. Right, I stand corrected. Assume nothing, section 4.5... Never mind. Fact two, one shot was fired. Fact three... Cody found a bullet casing of Russian manufacturer in the choir. Right? Yes. Kate was the target. Someone found Russian shell casing. You think Karpov would just leave it there if he was going to be that sloppy? You think he'd be that sloppy? Why wouldn't he admit it? A note was left for the wounded fashionista in her office. Maybe Comrade Karpov is establishing a new working style. The, the, the intruders were definitely Russian. And terrifying. Have you seen them before? They were not the same ones that nearly ripped my arms from my sockets. But, but who, save from Comrade Karpov and his minions, would wish to threaten Mr. Sir's bride? What is it going to... What are you doing? It's chapter 14, sections 3 through 5. Visualize the facts, okay? It's just like writing computer code. Every, every command has a name and a purpose, a cause and effect. Okay, just imagine this. Poor Charles. Mr. Sir. Our son, he isn't king anymore. He took himself out of the game. He still behaves like the king. He gives orders and expects you to obey them. Okay, you know if I take action, things are going to escalate, right? Okay, well then... Okay, the question is, who should Stone Cold be? Should he be the, the brave knight, the, the opposing black king, or the white king himself? These are chess pieces. All right, fine, I'll do it. All right, Stone Cold is the king. Yay, king. Okay, um, Mr. Sir is the opposing dark force, and Comrade Karpov is the marauding black knight, and the fashionista is the white queen. Okay, you know, th this is not helpful. Please, please, please bear with me a little longer, please. Fine, go. Okay, so the Jackals confirmed that Comrade Karpov flew in from Moscow. <sighs> Correct. Karpov approached Sunny Taxes go between to get information. Okay, right. oh. okay. What what is that for? Stone Cold was in the dark. So I Okay. Sonny and Karpov are falling out. I find out about the deal. And I tell Karpov to stay away from me. Back off. And he does. And Karpov shoots Kate. Now you see, that this is this is ridiculous. Why would he shoot Kate? Sonny and Karpov had a deal that fell through months ago. Why would he take so long to retaliate? Why would he take the risk? It's to his advantage to lay low, Spinelli. Maybe he's just changing strategies. What? We have a truce. Maybe he broke it. Well, why come after me? He'd come after me, wouldn't he? Why Kate Howard? I, I cannot dispute your stone quote logic. But we cannot rule out a hired gun, a hapless pawn. Working for who? And why leave the Russian shell casing? Why frame Karpov? Sometimes error code is error code is error code. And what the hell does that mean? It just means that in maybe in this rare occurrence, Stone Cold is overcomplicating things. Maybe maybe the motive is truly just revenge. Maybe Mr. Sir is right. Comrade Karpov is the one that fired the shot that failed the fashionista. For Lulu. Spinelli, hi. Hi. Oh, I see a visitor preceded me. What? Uh, someone arrived bearing gifts. Maxine. She brought truffles. Want some? Uh, the jackal also took the liberty of bringing a few things for Fair Lulu's amusement, um, including volumes of poetry. Shakespeare and William Blake. Damn. 
a visionary and early romantic who's also an artist, a dreamer of dreams. I love the way you talk. I miss listening to you. <laughs> yeah, I, I also brought some comic books, a um, few of my favorites, with an emphasis on superheroes who are mythic and archetypal. Thank you. You know, maybe I could, I could read you a few poems, thereby providing solace and support. I'd like that. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. What a mortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? In what distant deeps or skies burst fire of thine eyes? Wow, it's like he's describing Johnny. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. That's nice. Thank you. Uh, perhaps you've had your fill of Blake and would now enjoy an energizing snack of barbecue chips and orange soda. <laughs> I'm not hungry, thank you. Oh, well then maybe an invigorating walk around the grounds to stimulate your appetite? It's a beautiful fall day. I have to get ready for my session with Laney. <clears throat> I'm, 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 sure, I'm sure the dedicated doctor is used to tardiness on your part. I mean, Fair Lulu time is at least 20 minutes behind any other zone. Do you ever see Johnny? I, I would be happy to relay any and all messages. No, right. Johnny knows where to find me. He will either come see me or he won't. Jekyll, Everybody baby. thinks that Johnny is making me sick, including Johnny. Your daughter's in. <gasps> Where have you been? I left messages. I have tidings of a most dire. Uh, enough of the mob stuff, okay? This is really important. No, this is about the state of Fair Lulu. How did you know? Well, I, I, I saw the gifts that you brought. I visited, and I figured you'd share my concern. I was able to soothe her a bit by reading excerpts from William Blake, but then the most disturbing development. She said she had to be somewhere on time. Yes, I was stunned and mightily distressed. I know, Lulu's never anywhere on time. I, I, I fear she's being stifled by the well-meaning care workers at Shady Brook. This, this is it, Spinelli. We have to break her out of there.